Roxo Media House. I mean, coming over here, I was just, I was, I was ready when Dice, when Dice told me he was going to the Big 12, and he made the decision. I was, I was all in. I was ready. Practice number four here. It is Frogs Today Daily, live from the Morris Practice Field. Thanks for joining us. Presented by our friends at Dave's Hot Chicken, a cult favorite. You know about him. Two locations in Fort Worth. One off of Brian Irvin and I-20, the other one, of course, just off campus there at Berry Street. This is Frogs Today Daily. Frog Fall Camp 2022, presented by Dave's Hot Chicken. And here's your host, the voice of the frogs, Brian Estridge. Wow, did it get physical out here and from the start. We've talked a lot about tempo and energy and speed and now the physical side of things starts to come. Camp has officially started for the TCU Horn Frogs. Coming up a little bit later on, Doug Meacham, the wide receiver coach for the Frogs, is going to stop by. One of the two holdovers, of course, from the Gary Patterson staff. Uh, he'll be by to visit with us. We're going to let a couple of new players speak today to the media in the interview room. Wide receiver Jordan Hudson and cornerback Josh Newton, the transfer from Louisiana Monroe. They'll be in the interview room, and we'll go live to check in with them a little bit later on uh we have dispatched jamie plunkett to talk about that energy that we saw in practice today but first folks still want to talk about the quarterback situation and this offense in broader terms jeff wilson is standing by right now in the sam ba indoor facility and uh jeff let's talk about this offense under garrett riley who has to do double duty not only as the offensive coordinator but as the quarterback coach as well give us an overview what have you seen from this offense over the last couple of days how are they looking yeah brian when, when garrett riley spoke to the the media yesterday uh, it was laid back. It, it was kind of fun. He he slipped in a curse word, which 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 I love. So that's a big, that's a big check mark next to his his name in my book. But uh, the the one thing he wanted to stress is they need to they need to be really good with execution right now, and it, kind of a, a crawl before you walk, walk before you run type of thing. You know you have to be able to know where you're going, what you're doing, and this offense needs to to recognize and identify what it's going to be. Then you can start building a little bit more, adding adding more wrinkles. The uh, the offense was installed in spring practices, but there are a lot of new guys who've been who who've come on board since then. So it's kind of a bare bones thing right now. Get the fundamentals down, and then as as camp progresses, that's when you're going to see uh, Riley able to to add some more stuff into the offense. All right, now I'm going to get specific on you. This quarterback battle, you know, you, you talk to different members of the media and they've got a favorite as to who's going to end up winning this thing. From your perspective, is there a favorite right now to win the starting job? Yeah, that's right. He, he, pull, he pulls double duty, you know, and, and uh, he, he's, he's in there with the quarterbacks. Uh, he's, he's got the, you know, the, the best view in the house, so to speak, on, on who's doing what. Uh, he's, he's in the, the quarterback's meeting room with them every day. Uh, a couple of things are exciting him. He likes how they're uh, learning from each other. He, he, he says that that, that kind of it might make his job easier, but it also makes them better. And then also they aren't turning the ball over and they're getting it to a lot of different people. You know, they're, they're, they're not just focusing in on, on, let's say, Quentin Johnston. You know, they're, they're, they're getting the ball around and that's important for this offense to, to work seamlessly. But the no turnovers things is huge. And early on in camp, that's something that's really pleased Garrett Riley. Thank you, Jeff Wilson there in the Sam Baugh Indoor Practice Facility. Still to come, Jamie Plunkett on the energy of today and Doug Meacham, the Frog Wide Receiver Coach. He joins us when Frogs Today Daily continues in a moment. Dave's Hot Chicken is a cult favorite and now has two locations in Fort Worth, Brian Irvin Road at I-20 and Barry at Cockrell Street at TCU, both owned and operated by Horn Frogs. Mention the Frogs Today show and get 10% off anytime. Order online at daveshotchicken.com. A little come to sunny meeting today for the Horn Frogs as things got a little chippy out there. You like to see that, though, emotion on the field with this team here as we welcome you back in to Frogs Today Daily. Well, the theme of our show today is energy. We're going to talk a little bit later on about the five Ds that Coach Sonny Dykes and Coach Kaz, the strength and conditioning coach, focus on. But first, Jamie Plunkett wants to talk about the E, the energy that the Horn Frogs have displayed here early on. Jamie, uh, you've seen it from the get-go in these practices. 
Yeah, Brian, the energy was on a different level today on the fourth day of fall camp. It was really good to see, though, because you had guys that were wanting to hit each other, guys kind of getting after it a little bit, and that actually kind of bled over uh, and led into a couple little scraps that coaches had to separate and have some conversations with a couple different guys. Uh, but that's really a good thing to see, I think, at this point in the process because you've got this level of energy where guys want to get out there, they want to hit people, they want to be moving pretty fast. Uh, and so I think that's a really good indication of where this coaching staff has gotten this program in the short amount of time that they've been on campus all right so what side of the ball put you on the spot here what side of the ball has been bringing the energy has there been one player or a position group doing that most of that energy came from from the defensive side of the ball. You saw the defense kind of flying around out there, making some really big hits, some big plays. But the energy was on the offensive side of the ball as well. Chandler Morris was pretty vocal this morning trying to get guys hyped up, and that energy really did bleed over on the offensive side of the ball as well. You saw quarterbacks completing some really good passes. Linemen were blocking really well. Uh, and it was, a, it was a good, tough physical battle out there today on the practice field. Jamie Plunkett there. He'll be with us again tomorrow for a Saturday edition, the weekend special, if you will, of Frogs Today Daily. Still to come, Doug Meacham, the wide receiver coach for the Horned Frogs. He joins us next as Frogs Today Daily continues. The Flying Tea Club provides the everyday TCU fan and alum the ability to specifically support TCU student athletes. Flying Tea Club offers three levels of memberships. The Flying Tea Club is a nonprofit organization supporting the brand development of TCU student athletes through a series of unique event based networking opportunities, which are exclusive to our members. These events provide a great social engagement tool for our members and student athletes alike. Follow them on Instagram at Flying Tea Club or online at flyingteaclub.com. Back we come on Frogs today daily, and uh, we're fired up about the fact that Doug Meacham kind enough to give us a couple of minutes after practice here today. And, Coach, uh, one of the things I love about your experience is you've coached every position, literally, on the, on the offensive side. Got the inside receivers this year. i, I got to believe that that experience you have kind of kind of helps them see things from a different perspective sometimes. Well, um, yeah, because, you know, Having coached O-line at one point, I've coached QBs, receivers, running backs, everything. Um, I think where it's most useful is just making like my particular position group understand how all the moving parts work. Uh, the reads of the quarterback, I explained to them to make like receivers understand, hey, you're the third read in this, this scheme. Mm -hmm. So you can take your time or do certain other things and, and make sure they understand. Um, and in terms of game planning and things like that, it's good to kind of know how all the moving parts have moved in the past where I've been and having coached a line and uh, played, played a line yeah. and all that stuff. So um, just lucky to be able to have played in the trenches and but yet coached in the perimeter world and the skill position world for 20 years plus kind of unique you know yeah. in most cases but it's been great yeah and you think about it they, they, we, we use that term inside receivers but as you and I were talking we were getting ready for this that doesn't mean they're always inside right we may see right. them split out some that's just a, another terminology for that well, right. specific position they right? stay in my room but it's all interchangeable they can go inside outside motion certain words formations put them outside mm -hmm. um, and in that case a lot of a lot of times you're double teaching some things that the outside guy would do they w normally wouldn't do um and vice versa for Malcolm, you know, there's times his guys are inside, so there's some double teaching there in terms of what you do as an inside receiver. So it all works hand in hand. And um, and it's good because um, having a little bit of time outside from the inside receiver room, if there's an injury or, you know, next man up type thing mm -hmm. happens, you got some banked reps playing outside if we have to just move somebody out there and vice versa with the outside guys. Yeah, one of the things I've noticed here early on in love, and this you did a lot of this as well, is tempo. A lot of tempo from the start when they hit the practice field. Yeah, we start off every day with tempo. Uh, I think we go three, four play sets, uh, ones, twos, and threes. And, it's you know, it's a couple things. It's to get your motor started. It's to get the juices flowing. It's to get your mind woke up and get ready to go because we go in the mornings. and uh, It's really good getting them woke up and um, just have the your heartbeat pumping and, and it carries the end of the rest of the day. I love the five Ds that uh, Coach talks about, the discipline, the details, you know, the do your yeah. job determined and and and, uh, and be dignified about it too. Right. The one that has stood out to me this week is details. Yeah. There's a lot of details in these practices. A lot of details. I mean, for, for us, we don't have a lot of plays, but what it's not like younger players, for example. It's not – what I do, it's how do I do it into these coverages and these rotations and the leverages and the blitzes and things like that. Now it's how do I do it into these certain things. That takes the most time. That's, that's the detail of it. 
and that's the video that's the, the film study yeah like i know i have a vertical or i have a cross or an out or whatever all right now how do i run those routes based in the different coverages looks blitzes leverages rotations all that stuff so that's what takes the most time that's the detail of so it. so that receiver has to read that defense yeah we read our guys read just like quarterback reads. And, and so and then that quarterback and that receiver have to read it exactly the same exactly right? so we have a period we do routes on air and we have four lines of four receivers we run the same route four times right and we give them different looks every time and that lets people know you know they're on the same page sure. like what hole am i supposed to be in so really we just harp on two things you know uh being in the right spot mm -hmm. which means a lot of different things and fanatical effort and if you just melt it down into that little salt small segment of things it makes it simpler and things like that but um, knowing the entire scheme in terms of a concept uh, as an inside receiver knowing what the guy on the opposite side of me is doing and what the guy outside of me on my side is doing it helps me know my parameter I can work in because I know what routes here. I know what's there. Right. Because uh, we teach everything in concept. Right. We don't have a route tree where it's 942. It's right. It's just one word or one number. It means So everybody knows the entire route. Yep. So it helps you understand what hole to be in, what spot to be in. Yeah. And, and then that way it, you can play a little quicker too when you yeah. don't have it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The more you learn, the more you attain. Uh, you know, knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. And uh, knowledge is going to get you on the field quicker. You know, and maybe you may be a little slight, a little smaller, a little slower. You know, obviously, if we can trust you get out there and be in the right spot, and that quarterback trusts you being in the right spot, you're going to get some playing time. You know, when we were talking to Max Duggan earlier, we asked him, hey, is there one player that you're most excited to see? Uh -huh. and, I, and he said, I want to see Gunner. <laughs> I, I, I want to see him make plays. Yeah. This is a guy who has worked his tail off to get recognized. Yeah, we do a percentage chart on target. So, target, uh, a receiver's targeted. And we don't look at, hey, it was defended, it was a bad throw. We don't look at any of those things. We mm -hmm. just do percentage just like quarterbacks. Like, if you're 70 percentile completion rate as a QB, people view that as pretty good. We do the same thing with receivers. And yeah. his completion, like, when we target him, he catches that. He's in the upper 70s. He's like 78%. Wow. So, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, we gauge it just like he gauge a quarterback's percentage. We do the same thing with receivers. I think he's the highest one. Him and probably Tay Barber are yeah. the two highest ones. Yeah. Gunnar Henderson, of course, the senior, Adam McAllen. You think about your wide receiving group. I mean – maybe the strength of this offense i mean it, it feels uh, like it's a room that's kind of stacked with every sort of combination you need yeah I, I would say this um as a collective group deep yeah and um, i think guys get a little bit tired we can rotate put mm -hmm. somebody else in there and it's, there's not much difference yeah i think that's there's a big value in that um and it's a good group of kids too we got really good kids really good kids you know there's been times that you coach receivers, and there's some guys that you have to pay a little bit more attention right. to off the field. But right. We don't really have a ton of that. Um, we're lucky right now with, with that sort of thing. So it's a good room. Uh, Malcolm's room is great. My room is phenomenal. Uh, he's got guys with a lot of reps under their belt. So do I. And at the same time, we got young guys. And so it's good to, for those young guys to watch these guys like Tay Barber and, and D. Davis. The things they do, the little nuances in what we do, they can watch and see it. It helps expedite their learning curve too, you know. Well, I know it was important to you uh, because I know how much you love Fort Worth and TCU. We see yeah. it every every home basketball game <laughs> uh, that you want, that you were able to stay. Glad you were able to stay. Yeah, I love here. Jamie too. I yeah. mean, Jamie, I support Jamie. We're yeah. friends, and um, I love. Um, yeah, this is. I've lived a lot of places. This is a great place to live. It is. So, yeah. Good, for, good place to raise a family. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. There's, there's no question. By good, the way, good place to raise myself. That's right. By the way, <laughs> Jamie Dixon's team's gonna be really good. This I know. Year. Yeah. I know. Maybe top ten preseason. No, no, no pressure. Just national title. That's well, right. So, so. <laughs> we'll just take that. Yeah, let's take the natty. Coach Meeks, thanks for coming by. All right, thank really you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, by the way, speaking of uh, young guys, Jordan uh, Hudson, one of the young wide receivers, is uh, addressing the media as we speak in the interview room, as well as Josh Newton, the transfer from Louisiana Monroe. Let's check in with the, those guys in the interview room right now. Yes, sir. Coach uh, Gillespie said we, we needed to come out and make a statement today, and so that's what, that's what we all had planned. That's what we came out to do today. Uh, first of all, it started just me working on my craft behind closed doors without the coaches, and then, you know, it's, I'm being a football guy, so I watch football on my own outside of, you know what I'm saying, being here. I just love the game because football not changing. It's just everybody running that stuff different. So it's just adjusting to everybody's terminology. Cover two, cover three, cover four, that stuff been been played for years. It's just everybody run it different. Everybody call it, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own portfolio of it or whatever. No, it's a great spot, man. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, happy to be here, and want to be here. And then it's just everything just is right here for you. You got all the resources, nutrition, great people around you, strength coaches, good coaches. I mean, it's really nothing you can too much ask for more. Coach Kaz is, he's made me better. 
just being just being the type of guy he is, don't let anything slide, like staying on nutrition. This is probably the best I ever felt since going into a season. Uh, it's going good. I mean, I'm glad to hear that you're hearing good things about me, but it's going awesome. I like it. Yeah. You can tell. Nah, it's it's fast for real, but uh, it's way faster than high school. Uh, way more intense. Uh, you always moving, but I say it's way more intense. Dave's Hot Chicken is a cult favorite and now has two locations in Fort Worth. Brian Irvin Road at I-20 and Barry Street at TCU, both owned and operated by Horn Frogs. Order the number four or the number five for the tastiest lunch special under $10. Or order online at daveshotchicken.com. How about that? The freshman Jordan Hudson addressing the media after Josh Newton there in the interview room. Jordan Hudson. Big fan of Sonny Dykes, as you can tell. Well, today's theme, of course, those five Ds that we talked about earlier, discipline, details, determined, dignified, and do your job. This team continuing to get better here under Sonny Dykes. We appreciate you joining us today for this edition of Frogs Today Daily, presented by our friends at Dave's Hot Chicken. Coming up tomorrow, we'll be right here with you on Saturday, the weekend edition as well. We'll hear from Coach Dykes tomorrow. He'll join us uh, post-practice number five here at the Morris Practice Fields. Until then, a big thank you to Jamie Plunkett and Jeff Wilson for joining us. Also to uh, Coach Doug Meacham and all of our crew here uh, at TCU for helping us put this together. Right now, we're headed to lunch at Dave's Hot Chicken. Jay's buying the number three. We'll see you there. Frogs Today Daily presented by Dave's Hot Chicken is a production of Roxo Media House. Roxo Media House.